it's ghetto around here. I'm gonna just say, people be getting shot. Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. Today I'm finally going to do my moving update. I moved from the Virgin Islands to New Jersey over a year ago, so this update is long overdue. Actually, it's almost been a year and a half, and I was supposed to come back many, many months ago, but it's here. I know y'all have so many questions about my move, why I moved, questions about big. That's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be a moving and life update, I guess, because my life has really been consumed with my move and making a new home for myself here in New Jersey. If you've never been on my channel, hi boo, welcome. Stick around, make sure you subscribe. If you're an OG, welcome back, honey. Before we get into it, I always ask, if you do like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. It goes such a long way. Just a simple like does truly help my channel, and I would appreciate it so much. But, you know, enough more talking. Let's get into it. If you haven't seen my moving vlog, definitely make sure you check it out. That video was actually really popular on my channel, one of my more popular videos for some reason. So if you haven't seen my moving vlog, you can definitely check it out right here, where I chronicled my journey from leaving the Virgin Islands and arriving here in New Jersey. It was a cool little video, so you can definitely check it out. So first of all, I told y'all I moved to Jersey, but I don't think y'all know exactly where in Jersey I moved to. So I moved to North Jersey. I'm not going to say the specific city and town because some of y'all out there are crazy. I don't know who's watching this video, but I moved to North Jersey. I'm about 30 minutes or so from Manhattan, so I'm pretty much right outside of New York. Why would I leave the beautiful Virgin Islands where I was born and raised? Why would I move to Jersey? Everyone thinks of Jersey and New York as all raggedy, overpriced, expensive, funky, and it is all of these things. For those of you who are new to my channel, you may not know, but I started this YouTube channel when I was in college in North Carolina. I went to Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, so I've actually lived in the States before. Coming to Jersey was not my first time ever coming to the States, and it wasn't my first time ever living in the States. I lived in North Carolina for seven years. I got my bachelor's and my master's from Wake Forest in North Carolina. Gotta make sure that it's clear. So it's not my first time in the States, it's not my first rodeo. And I've also visited New Jersey and New York before. It wasn't my first time. I never planned to live in the Virgin Islands after college. When I left graduate school, my plan was to move to New York. But I was so overwhelmed by graduate school and my thesis project, I moved back home to the Virgin Islands. I was supposed to stay at home for a year, stay with my parents, relax, you know, get myself together and move back. But life be lifing, I got a job, I started a career, and I remained in the Virgin Islands for five years. But I knew I didn't want to stay in the Virgin Islands. Why New York? I don't know. There's just something that I've always loved about New York. When I visited New York, I have family in New York, so I visited New York several times. And New York is just an amazing city. It's just a combination of a bunch of different cultures. And New York is just so wonderful to me. I love, I love, love, love New York. And I still do. The reason I'm not in New York right now is because I have a man. And y'all may not know because I don't really bring him to my channel. I don't share a lot of my personal life here on YouTube. I stick to like hair and beauty, very superficial things because I want to keep my private life as intimate and as private as possible. Everything isn't for social media, right? Even though it's easy to bring y'all in and monetize every aspect of my life, I just at this point in my life decided not to do so. Some things can be secret or sacred or private, right? So I have a man, he is from Ghana, and he hates New York. <laughs> he thinks it's dirty, old, raggedy, and all the other 
um, things that people hate about New York. It's cramped, it's overpriced. So he hates New York. So even though New York has always been my dream, because I'm creating a life with somebody else who doesn't like New York and because he goes out to work and I stay at home, it just wasn't fair for me personally to direct where we go. So we made a compromise. And the compromise is that we would live close to New York, which I just thought Jersey. I didn't consider Pennsylvania. I didn't consider Connecticut. I was just like, okay, New Jersey. They didn't really do much research into Jersey. I was just like, well, we're moving to Jersey. Literally, there was really no thought process behind of it. That doesn't really answer the question of why I don't want to live in the Virgin Islands. So let me talk about that a little bit. So the Virgin Islands is a very small place. It's beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful beaches, beautiful culture, beautiful food. But I knew as much as I love the Virgin Islands, I didn't want to make a life for myself there. One, it's small, so there's a lot of small-mindedness in the Virgin Islands. It's a lot of like crabs in the barrel in the Virgin Islands. And don't get me wrong, from my age, I was doing exceptionally well. Um, I was doing really well for the Virgin Islands. You know, the average income in the Virgin Islands is like $32,000 and straight out of college, like I was making double many people in the Virgin Islands. So I was doing really well back home, but I didn't want to stay there. I'm a woman of the world. I want to travel. So I wanted to be near a major airport, the Virgin Islands. When I lived there, I would have to catch a plane to Miami or New York. And then I would go to like Thailand or Japan or Africa or you know whatever other countries and continents I went to. So that was a deterrent and I was just kind of annoying as someone that wants to see the world. Um, there's no Walmart in the Virgin Islands. There's no um, late night dining options in the Virgin Islands. Amazon sometimes doesn't ship to the Virgin Islands and if it does ship it's like $15 for a $10 item. Like There's a lot of inherent issues with living in a rural or international place even though the Virgin Islands is a part of the United States technically based on imperialism and colonization, the way it works actually in the real world, the Virgin Islands is seen as an international destination. And that's just a hindrance as someone that is a citizen of the United States wants the perks of being a citizen of the United States and not really having the amenities and the access like other people in the United States. Back home, a gallon of milk is $6, gas is about $5 right now, and like I said, the average income is $32,000. So you have to think about just the financial situation and landscape there. People are poor in the Virgin Islands. There's a lot of poverty in the Virgin Islands. There's a lot of struggle in the Virgin Islands. There's a lot of violence due to poverty in the Virgin Islands. When you see the Virgin Islands, you see the Virgin Islands from a tourist perspective, from an outsider perspective. But actually living and growing up in the Virgin Islands, as though it, although it has its beauty and its uniqueness, and I wouldn't trade the experience of living and growing up in the Virgin Islands for anything in the world, it is rough to grow up and live in the Virgin Islands if you don't have money. And also, Bay Richmond hates the Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands reminds Richmond of Ghana, and he wants more of a city type of environment. He's also an Uber driver, and there's no Uber in the Virgin Islands. There's not a lot of opportunities in the Virgin Islands. There wouldn't have been many opportunities for him to find work in the Virgin Islands, and because he wants to work and provide and support our family, like the Virgin Islands wasn't going to work. Hopefully that answered that question. I feel like I was all over the place, but hopefully after editing, it's gonna make some damn sense. Like I said earlier, the cost of living in the Virgin Islands is really high. A gallon of milk is $6. Like things are very expensive back home. Even though Jersey is cheaper in terms of food, because of housing, I would say they're pretty on par. I didn't feel like I left, you know, a, one cost of living to the next. I feel like it's pretty much the same. Our rent is double the price here in Jersey, but that's only because I got a good deal back home. My two bedroom in the Virgin Islands was $800, but a two bedroom back home is usually like 
1200 $1,300, and my three bedroom here in Jersey is 1600 No, it went up. It's including parking and water is 1715 It used to be like 1680 something like that. It did go up because this is our second year in this apartment. So it's pretty much the same. I don't really see a much difference in terms of the cost of living. Um, the only difference is that Richmond earns a lot more money in Jersey. So that's really the difference. Like, as a family, we make more money. It's not like every day I've been thinking about home and crying about being back home or anything like that. Like, I wanted to move. And I've been wanting to move for the last five years that I was back home. But I definitely miss my, my mom, miss my dad. I miss my parents the absolute most. Um, it was so easy to just, you know, hop in the car. Um, and go to them go to their house and my mom would send me food all the time now I have to depend on myself and I don't like cooking. I'm not a domestic type of person So I can't get food anymore. I just miss just having my parents, you know having my dad come and fix something in my apartment My parents literally used to live like 10 minutes away from me and now they're like what five hours away from me now by plane so it's definitely an adjustment but I talk to my parents all the time I'm close with my parents um, I definitely miss them the most I miss them and I miss the food in the Virgin Islands um, the food in Jersey to me sucks if you are from Jersey or you live in Jersey and you have a rest restaurant recommendations definitely drop them down below I just think that the food in Jersey sucks. It's very much a hit or miss. Thank God for Chipotle to, to to really hold me down. In Jersey, at least for me, you're more likely to find bad food than good food. That's just been my experience. I like all types of food. I am not picky when it comes to food. I'm a woman of the world. I like different types of food. And Jersey is just eh, you know? Eh. I moved to the hood of Jersey by accident like I did not intend to live in the ghetto but I do it's not like it's a lot of drugs and I'm dodging bullets and like that it's not crazy right it's not like it's not Gaza right it's not it's not it's not that bad but it's a lot of city neglect it's a lot of trash it's a lot of rodents it's 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 it's, it's bad enough, at least for me. Um, and I didn't think it was as bad. Like, my apartment itself is super duper cute. Like, huge. That's why we got it. When we came to look for apartments in 2020 at the end of the year, this was the best apartment out of 20 apartments that we, that we saw. So a lot of the apartments that were available at the time, we were looking in the winter. This was the best. All the apartments were super duper tiny. I have a pretty big apartment. I think, and I still wish my apartment was bigger, but my apartment is like huge compared to other, you know, places in Jersey and New York. You know, some people, all they can fit in their, in their rooms are like their bed and barely a dresser. You know, we have tons of space and we have tons of things too. I have so much shit, but so our apartment is huge, but the area, mm, unsavory. And the reason I didn't know it was so bad is because one, we came in the winter. So the winter is a different experience. If you've ever seen the difference between like winter and spring and summer in different urban neighborhoods. So there's that. And then two, we also came at night and at night everything lo looks different. So at night, I didn't know the neighborhood looked so raggedy because we came here at night. It was like 8 o'clock. Everything looked like just normal. And then when I came here in the day, my first day, like when we drove up, my mom and I drove up from Florida to New Jersey. It took us like two days. When we finally got to Jersey and we came here around 5 o'clock, I was like, hmm, hmm, okay, <laughs> okay. Yikes. Richmond moved in earlier and he had already warned me like, Bibi, you, what apartment did you get? This apartment is not good. The area is not good. We live in the hood, <laughs> okay? And because he's a Ghanaian man, I just thought he was exaggerating because ain't nobody more dramatic and extra than West Africans, okay? They're my people, but honey. Um, but yes, we definitely live in the hood. So... 
where I live in Jersey, I don't like it. It's not horrible, but sis. <laughs> Last summer, there was a lot of fireworks and I was like, oh, these people and their fireworks, it's annoying. But come to find out, after speaking with my neighbor a few weeks ago, because I barely leave the house, I do everything inside, I barely go outside. According to my neighbor, it's, it was gunshots. Like several people have died around my neighborhood. Maybe not on my street, but definitely the street over, adjacent street. So it's ghetto around here. I'm gonna just say, people be getting shot, okay? I never feel unsafe. And I never feel like my life is threatened personally on my street, but that's just what we're working with, okay? We do plan to move. Because you choose to be here. You're gonna put nobody, no nobody, nobody choose you to be here. If you walk and you get shot because you choose this place. Yeah, I heard you. I'm cutting that out, so it's fine. I know a lot of people were worried about the weather and the climate. Honestly, even though I'm from the Virgin Islands and my last name is Del Sol, and Sheree Del Sol is my real name, I think some people think that's like an Instagram name or like a YouTube name. That is my real name. Like my birth name is Sheree Del Sol. Like that's how extra my parents are. So that's my real name. So even though my last name is Del Sol, it means of the sun and I'm from a hot place. I hate warm weather. I am a sweaty ass bitch and I do not like warm weather. So coming to the States was a godsend for me. I love the winter. I don't like the snow because the snow is dangerous. Like obviously I love the snow when it falls, it's beautiful, but I don't like traversing in the snow. The snow is just dangerous, but I love the cold. Like I thrive in a 20, 30, 40 degree weather type of thing. Anything beyond 70, it's a no for me, it's a wrap. And Richmond, even though he's from Ghana, has figured it out and he doesn't mind the snow either. So both of us are good on the weather, honestly. Like we love it. A question I've gotten several times is if I plan to move back to the Virgin Islands. I have no intention of moving back to the Virgin Islands. I lived in the Virgin Islands for overall like 22 years or so. When I was younger, I thought I would probably move back when I retire, but I probably won't even move back to the Virgin Islands again because of the cost of living. I will probably retire in West Africa. Richmond and I will probably live in Ghana when we retire uh, or somewhere else internationally, um, but I won't probably move back to the Virgin Islands. Um, if my parents, you know, God forbid, get sick or something, I wouldn't move back to the Virgin Islands. I would want them to move here because the healthcare system in the Virgin Islands is not good. It wasn't good before COVID. It's definitely not good now. It wasn't good before the hurricanes of 2017 that destroyed everything. And it's definitely not good now. People that can afford it do all their healthcare in Florida or Georgia. Like if you actually got some coin, you don't you don't get service in the Virgin Islands because even though they're hardworking men and women in our healthcare system, our healthcare system needs reform. So if I'm retired and getting older, the Virgin Islands for me isn't a place to be. So mm, I don't see myself moving back, like ever, probably ever. In terms of Jersey, I actually don't like Jersey y'all. Like I hate to say that cause I just moved here and it's only been like a year and a half, but I actually don't like Jersey. And it's tough because I moved here during a global pandemic. So maybe that plays a lot in my experience in Jersey. Jersey is not what I expected, I'll say that. I thought Jersey was going to be like New York hype. Things open late, like a vibe. But Jersey reminds me a lot of North Carolina. It's basically like the South in the North. <laughs> Everything closes around nine o'clock. It's slow here. There's like, for me, a lack of culture here in Jersey. Um, the food, because of the lack of culture, is very, is very, very much giving gringo. I just, it's, yeah, it's very much giving Caucasoid. Mm, it's very much giving unseasoned meat <laughs> in Jersey. Like, it's not the flavor that I thought it was going to be. I just assumed 
and that was my ass option that I was going to be like New York because it's outside of New York. But New York, I've learned that New York is just a special case. You, New York is just unique. There's no place like it. And I feel like I'm in the South without the southern prices and that's ghetto to me so i don't know where we're going to move i've lived in the south and i don't know if i want to move back what richmond man we know where we're going to live we're not living in north dakota <laughs> we, we know where we're going to live we're going to live in north dakota <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to north dakota <laughs> i don't know who told richmond about north dakota but he is convinced we are moving to North Dakota. We are not moving to North Dakota. Like, I don't even know where North Dakota is on the map, okay? I would love to move back to the South because the cost of living is lower in the South. Like, you can, like, our apartment that we're paying $1,600 for in the South, like, it would be a luxurious apartment, right? Like, in Texas or North Carolina. So, the South is great for the cost of living, but I just don't know if I want to move back to the South. So yeah, I actually don't know where I want to move. I've considered Maryland, because I think Maryland is like that good, you know, middle ground. I visited Georgia recently, and like, the sweet tea was amazing in Georgia. It really reminds me of the beauty of the South. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I have no idea what, where I'm going to move. But in the next few years, I definitely will not be in Jersey. I I don't like it. I really don't. I don't like it here. I hate it, really. Yeah. In terms of regrets, I honestly wish that I did more research on Jersey. I wish that I did more research on the area that I moved. I was so frantic to move. Like, I literally had a week to find an apartment. I was so frantic to move. And we had such a limited budget because based on, like, the money that we were making at the time, like we couldn't, you know, we couldn't afford a $2,500 apartment. So we had to find you know, this apartment, like something around the $1,500, $1,600 mark. And in Jersey, that can get, that can get crazy because Jersey is expensive, especially post COVID. Jersey has become a lot more expensive than it was pre COVID. So, um, I wish I did more research on the area that I moved to. That was definitely something I should have done more. I should have done more research on Jersey itself. Like Jersey itself, the taxes are high. Everything is super high in Jersey. And I didn't know that, right? I should have looked into Connecticut or Pennsylvania or some other state or area that I could have moved to that would still give me access to New York. Because even though I live in Jersey, I've been to New York so few times. A lot of it has to do with COVID because I'm not comfortable getting on the trains and the buses like I was before COVID. Um, so the pandemic has a lot to do with it and my fear of COVID and just not wanting to get sick. Um, so I don't travel and, and like really go into New York the way I would want to. So of course the pandemic has a lot to do with it, but also even driving into the city, um, having a car i still don't want to drive into the city because when you drive into the city there's no parking um and if you do if you do find parking sometimes you gotta spin the block for 30 minutes to find street parking because you know parking garages are so expensive in the city so it just things have not worked out the way i thought it would right i would move to jersey i would have access to new york i'd be in new york all the time and that's just not the case things just didn't really work out the way i envisioned and that's really what life is about right things never work out the way we wanted to and the way we think it's gonna work out right so yeah we're not staying in north dakota i know i did a vlog on finding a car i did actually buy a car i've owned that car for a year now never updated y'all i did not get a mercedes benz i did not get a tesla nothing extravagant i got a 2021 honda hrv which is basically just a small suv it is white so when you've seen me in vlogs driving around i, ha I have been in my own car i didn't update you because I don't know, I feel like y'all don't really care. So I did get a car, for those of you who are wondering, and I got I got the latest model, Honda. Do I think it was a good investment? Not really. Like, I needed a car because I needed to get around. You need a car in Jersey, but I honestly barely use my car. I've had my car for a year, and it only has like 5,000 miles on it. 
and it only has that many miles because I did a road trip with my parents over the summer. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out. I definitely don't think it's it was worth it in a sense that I'm spending money on something I don't use, but I like the convenience of having a car. I needed a car. I don't want to have a car because I wish I didn't have the car payment, but that's what adulting is all about, right? inconvenient things that you don't want so yes there's a few other questions but this video has been super duper long already and y'all only watched the first three minutes of every video so i'm just going to end the video with this last question and maybe i'll address the other questions in an upcoming video if this video does well or if y'all have other questions and basically people want to know um how is it living with a man and how that has been if I have any advice honestly Richmond is an amazing man he's an amazing person he is my best friend and we treat each other like best friends so even though he annoys me and I annoy him we have a great relationship <laughs> <laughs> he's great everything is great um i definitely don't cook as much as i should but we make it work um he'll buy food i'll buy food like honestly it's a great relationship and most of the time richmond is at work he's really hard working so most of the time i'm at home and you know it is what it is we're both we're both you know young trying to trying to build ourselves up trying to create a life for, our, for ourselves so it's been great really just me and richmond like we literally just moved somewhere and we're just making it work we don't really have any family and yeah we're doing the best that we can i can do a separate video about more about living with a man and stuff like that because this video has already been long enough if you have any other questions about my move well i think i've answered all the questions about my move if you have any other questions about my life um youtube career stuff richmond whatever definitely leave them down below would love to answer in a future video i want y'all to get to know me a little better within reason so definitely drop your questions down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i hope this video was helpful i hope it answered a lot of your questions give you some insight onto why i moved and all that and i will talk to y'all later thanks so much for watching peace bye y'all